Yo, everybody. So it's gonna be the best video ever. I'm gonna tell you how to live in Thailand for 12 months without visa. So basically, you're gonna be staying here on a tourist visa. All right, so dodgy, but I hope you're gonna appreciate my feedback and I'm gonna do it in a very short manner. So I'm not gonna be telling you, oh, go on this link, press this link, buy this toothbrush and all that BS that every YouTuber does. I'm just going to give you the information that you require. Okay, let's crack on. Right, so number one, you arrive to Thailand, you get 45 days on arrival. 69 countries, I believe, get this set up. I've got Latvian passport. If you're watching me from UK, you win the same boat, right? You get 45 days on the arrival. And then on a day 44, you go to immigration, any immigration in Thailand. I live in Phuket, so I go to immigration in Phuket. By the way, I have a video of how to do this, how to do extension in the Phuket immigration. Very simple. I explain what you need to bring, how much it is, what to do, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna, yeah, share the video at the end of this episode, so make sure you stay right till the end. Right, so you go to immigration, get the extra 30 days, and then on the day 28, you go to the agency. I call it a dodgy agency, <laughs> a travel agency, where you pay 3,600, they drive you to Malaysia on a bus with a lot of other people. Uh, it takes like, they pick you up 5 a.m., 6 a.m., you get back home about 11. You walk the border by foot, have a lunch, <laughs> to try to make money on you, even with a lunch. Walk back, cross the border again, get on a bus, get back to Phuket. By the way, I am doing this process in December wish me luck i will record the episode i hope uh, uh the video is not going to get deleted from youtube i hope fingers crossed uh yeah so you do that you come back and it's another cycle so you get the 45 days then you go to immigration again and get another 30 days so by law you are allowed to do border runs they call them two times in 12 months sorry was i spitting there <laughs> I'm so passionate. Anyway, uh, yeah, after that, you have to do it by air. Yeah, so fly to Singapore or to Kuala Lumpur, same, same country. And then you just repeat that until you get flagged. Recommendation, when you fly, have 20,000 baht on you in cash, which is nothing, and a permanent accommodation. So you have to have a proof of, you know, your address. Uh, what else? Passport, obviously, yeah. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because exciting stuff coming up. I'm going to be doing the bod around myself. Whoop, whoop. And uh, the video about the immigration in Phuket right here. Don't miss me too much. See you soon.